hello there welcome to this video create a thing and add properties on the ThingWorks platform in this video first we're going to see how to log into the ThingWorks IoT platform now why should we create a thing and a property on the IoT platform and what does it signify now the concept here is that we have an IoT device like the one you are seeing of course this is a prototype if you will and a finished product will look definitely different irrespective of whether it is a prototype or a finished product the working remains the same now what we want to do is we want to create an entity for this IoT device on the platform so you can think of it like an object or a container which will store information about the IoT device itself and its characteristics now what are characteristics characteristics could be anything like sensor values or its own values like for example RAM space ROM space heat and all the other things now this is what we're gonna do so you need a thing as an entity on the platform and you will create properties to signify or to store characteristics of the IoT device all right now let's go ahead and see how to log in and create a thing and properties so this is the landing page for the ThingWorks developer portal so that's developer.thingworks.com so go ahead and log in for the ones who already have a username and password go ahead and log in and if you don't have a username and password it's a pretty straightforward process so go ahead and sign up so all you have to do is give me your name information so pretty standard stuff so go ahead and do that in my case I'm going to simply log in because I already have a username and password so this is pretty much it So I'm gonna say log in. so it takes a quick second there you go so once you log in it takes you to the dashboard of course we've seen this in the course one and what we want to do is we want to log in to the IoT platform so you can do that by coming on this box on the top right hand corner click on the box or the icon and it will show you how many days your trial is valid for so for example this is the validity it's also going to show you the status of your server so currently it is stopped so this depends on whether you've used in the last couple of days or a couple of hours and things like that the first thing is we need to start the server and once you start the server then you can go ahead and launch the server so let's give it some time all right now you see that after a couple of seconds or depends on where you are and what you're using the server is ready for you so you can go ahead and click on launch there you go once you click on launch it's going to open another tab for you there you go this is the landing page for your IoT platform it takes a bit longer the first time you log in we will take a really quick walkthrough of this platform and this will help all the audiences all right first thing you want to keep in mind is that this is the landing page of the platform and you have different functionalities and attributes on your left hand side so this is basically your navigation so you have different categories you have modeling analytics visualization data storage collaboration security and of course these are for different activities which you will do on the platform on the right hand side you have your username and a couple of other functionalities here now let's not get into all of that and first thing is we want to get into the things of course you can search anything here you like and for things just go to modeling and click on things keep in mind that we are trying to keep it very focused on the activity for the specific exercise so I am currently on the things so once you click on things you'll be on things now what we want to do is first we want to create an entity for our IoT device so I want to go and say new so you can say the same and now as usual you have to give it a name so I want to call it IoT device one of course you can give it whatever you like another thing you need to do is to associate this with the thing template so what's a template template is a set of properties which you can inherit so go ahead and say remote and go ahead and pick the remote thing template all right that's it so pretty much you're done right about here so you can go ahead and say save 
Now what you've done right now is you've created a container or an entity for the IoT device and this is called a thing in the IoT platform. Perfect. Now once you've done that, the next step is to create the properties. So this will help you to store the values of the sensors coming from the IoT device. So go ahead and say click on properties and here you have the landing page as you can see that you don't have any properties so let's go ahead and create some properties I'm going to say edit and now you have an option called add my property so go ahead and click on add my property now this is the landing page for creating a property so a lot of options are there we're going to keep it really simple the first property is going to be is motion so we basically are checking if there is motion and this I want it to be a number so I'm gonna go and click on number and here you can give minimum value maximum value a default value what are the units so it's really mature in terms of how you would like to handle a certain property in our case we're just going to be okay with having a number all right and next is you want to create another property so say done and add this is a really cool feature so that you don't have to go through the entire process again next is is light so we're going to check if there is enough light around and this can also be in number now i'm done so i'm going to say done so we're going to create two properties one is motion one is light so as long as you don't save it these are not created so go ahead and save it that's it so what you've done for yourself now is you created a thing and a property now let's zoom out to the things so close everything from here and go to things and now you will see your brand new IoT device one which you just created so click on it and you can see that it's a remote thing and everything looks good go to properties there you go you see your two properties and these are the values currently the values are zero all right congratulations you have created yourself a thing and properties perfect in the next video we're going to go ahead and set up postman which we're going to be using as a rest simulator